Normally, you'd see a scene like this as a reporter and be reporting on the accident. But today, the Level Plains Fire Department is performing training and teaching me how to perform extrication on a car. Today, we're practicing extrication um, when someone's been in a car wreck or something. Or not necessarily a car wreck, could be a machinery entrapment or something. Um, today we're practicing with cars. Level Plains Fire Department Chief Jamie Gatlin says they always have new people coming through and training is crucial as a volunteer fire department. We have people who have never had a chance to do this, so they get a chance to do it in kind of controlled conditions. Great, and uh, we're also our automatic mutual aid partner, Daleville Fire Department, is coming over and they're going to join in. And so we get to practice together like we were working together on a scene. When rolling up to the scene, first responders can use a tool like this called a combi tool to extricate passengers from a car accident. This time of the year with the extra travel, always prone to have more wrecks. And anytime we ha you have a wreck, and there's always a chance of someone being trapped or just they're hurt bad enough they can't get out normal means. Sometimes we have to just cut the car to get them out, even though they're not really trapped. Um, so to prevent further injury to them. The Daleville and Level Plains Fire Departments train together quarterly because they show up to the same scenes and work together due to their automatic mutual aid agreement. The departments get to know each other and the equipment so that they can be more efficient if and when an entrapment or accident occurs. Accidents are pretty common. Entrapment is not as common. And that's the reason we have, to, it's, it's a low frequency but high risk event. So we have to pr practice that. Trainings like this are important for first responders so that they know how to properly handle arriving first on the scene to car accidents. Covering local news first in Level Plains, Ian Agapayan, WDHN News.